last time I did a live video, I uh, was trying to catch a swarm that flew away, but we just got a call for about one, and I thought you guys might like to see it up close. It's pretty huge. It's about uh, three feet, three feet high, hanging off of a tree. And so, uh, I don't know, can you see it there? I'm gonna go and uh, get a box and put them in it. I'm back. I had to go get some duct tape. So it took me a while. I had to go to the store because uh, I'll need to tape uh, my nuke box shut once I, uh, once I get all the bees in it. So here, is the swarm. I'm, uh, there's a lot of bees here, so I'm a little bit, this box I wish was a bit bigger, but um, I'm gonna put them in it and I'm going to do my best. And if, uh, if not, I also have this cardboard box over here that I'll use if this box isn't big enough, but I'm gonna do my best with what I've got. Okay, so without further ado, I'm just gonna see where I can shake this from. Okay, so. I, the idea is that I'm gonna try and give this a big shake downwards and hope that the queen goes in here and uh, the bees, the, they'll, the bees will follow the queen back in. So I just wanna make sure that I've got this underneath properly and I missed the box they're all on the ground and there's still a whole bunch in the tree but I want them to march into this box but I don't know there's a whole bunch in there already and we'll see we'll see if I if they'll go in I might have to shake them again they'll go back on the tree if uh, if I didn't get the queen. Okay, I'll show you what the bees are doing. There's like all kinds of bees in the air. They're all flying around, but most of them seem to be going in the box, which is good. I want them all in the box so I can put the lid on and uh, take them home. You can see them all. They're all crawling up the side and going in. So I'm hoping the queen is in there. I can't put the lid on yet because there's just too many bees. And you can hear the sound of them. There's a lot of bees. So I've said this before, but bees when they're swarming are actually super, super gentle. They've uh, eaten, eaten a whole bunch of honey from the hive that they've come from in preparation for the, the big flight and they don't have a home or any babies to defend, so they're really just busy looking for somewhere else to live. And in this case, and what happens is they were in that big ball on the tree and the, the swarm will send out scouts in all directions looking for a hollow cavity to live in, which is what I'm hopefully gonna give them. But you can see there's like a lot of bees still in the air, so I just have to wait and uh, wait for them to all go in the box and then when they do, I'll tape it shut. But it's, it's a pretty amazing, it's a pretty amazing thing to uh, kind of stand in a big cloud of bees and know that they're really not gonna hurt you. They're just flying around trying to find the queen. This is part 10 of my live streaming uh, swarm catch. They are doing really well. They are, there's a lot of bees for this box. Um, but I added some extra frames so that they can get to work right away building wax. A swarm is primed for wax building because they don't have any honeycomb of their own. Um, and I'm just trying to, I'm using a little bit of smoke, not because they are mean in any way, they're super gentle. Uh, just I'm just trying to encourage them to move into the box as opposed to being swarming sort of in a cluster on the outside of the box. And uh, it seems to be working pretty well. There are a whole ton of bees here. I'm gonna move them into a full-sized hive this afternoon and they'll be much less crammed.
Um, 